hey ladies welcome back to my channel in today's weight loss video i'm gonna be showing you exactly what i buy from the supermarket every week to lose weight and not just lose one pound two pounds i'm talking you're gonna see a dramatic weight loss if you eat like this i promise you ladies i promise you you're gonna see a dramatic change and i only spent $40 on every single thing that you're going to see today, okay? So sit back, relax. This is another great weight loss video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Bella Gang. As you guys can see, I was 190 pounds. I'm 145 right now. So just trust me. I'm very passionate about my weight loss videos because I've been there, done that. I've been through the fat stage, the depression stage, and now I'm feeling myself and I want you guys to fill yourself too, okay? Okay, ladies, so this is what I bought from the grocery store today. By the way, I go shopping three to four days because I eat mostly whole foods and like fruits and vegetables. And everyone knows that after three or four days, they spoil quickly. And I like my produce to be really fresh. So this right here is probably going to last me three to four days before I go shopping again. Um, this is what I've been eating lately to keep my weight down, to keep my weight off. I love eating like this. I feel so energized, so good. Um, without further ado, let me just show you... Um, Everything I got and what I use it for. Now, number one, I got me three packs of this organic berry basket blend with pretty much it has strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and I make a really delicious smoothie bowl out of this. Comment below if you want to see how I make my smoothie bowl. It's so good. I either make a smoothie bowl that's really thick and creamy with my soy milk or I just, you know, add my protein powder and make a protein shake. I get three because at King Colin, these go by fast and I make sure that everything I get is organic, honey. Speaking of organic, I get organic free range eggs. All right, you guys probably like, why don't you get a dozen? Because a dozen eggs has more calories than the, the, the six pack, I noticed. So the dozen has 80 calories per egg. This is 70, you know, and I do eat in a calorie deficit. So I always keep in mind like the calorie intakes um, per meal. Then I got myself some pomegranate. I have to show you guys this snack recipe is so good. I eat pomegranate with tahini. Oh my God, it's so good. So I got three. I didn't want to OD and get four or five because like I said, fruits and vegetables spoil really quickly. And I make sure, these are not organic because um, King Cullen didn't have this in organic, but it's okay. I read somewhere that avocados and oranges and pomegranates, you can actually eat this without it being organic because of the hard outer layer. Um, it has less pesticides inside. Also, this is my favorite snack. You guys already know if you watch my what, and I, what I eat in a day video. Um, I bought these organic red bell peppers. I eat this with egg and avocado. I mix it up. I put salt and pepper, hot sauce, and then um, I eat it with the pepper. So freaking good. I have organic um, bananas. I like to take my bananas and eat it with, um, with my smoothie or my protein shake. It's really good. And banana, I take, I eat one banana before I work out. It gives you lots of energy, has so much potassium. Also, I'm gonna try this new thing where I saw, I saw it on Annabelle Hayes. Her YouTube channel is Annabelle Hayes. She eats white rice and tuna to grow her glutes. And right now, I'm um, not that I lost the weight. I'm trying to tone up and build my booty. And um, for those of you who do not know, if you want to. If you're skinny you're trying to, you know, gain muscle, you have to, your, your protein intake has to be like, you have to eat a lot of protein and carbs. And I was so scared to eat carbs, but actually carbs and protein is what helps grow your glutes. So wish me luck because this week I'm going to start um, with eating like this. So I'm going to eat, um, I got this tuna fish, the one that um, you don't need a can opener for because who got time for that? And I got it in oil because the one in oil has more taste to me. And I got three lemons because um, for my salad dressing. So I don't actually eat salad dressing. I just take avocado, um, lemon juice, salt and pepper, and I squeeze it on my salad. Speaking of salad, I got me one thing of one head of romaine lettuce. Rom romaine lettuce is the best type of lettuce for you to eat. Um, it has a lot of nutrients in it. And um, if you Want to eat clean, make sure that you know your lettuce. Do not get iceberg lettuce because it has no nutritional value. Get romaine lettuce. I only got one. I, I used to get the one in a pack, but 
it does not last. And I noticed that I don't eat salad every day, so it will spoil. So what I do is, like I said, I, I go shopping every three to four days. So I just eat what I can, and one head of lettuce is more than enough for me, honey. Then I have cucumbers to snack on. These are organic, non-GMO. And when I feel like eating seafood, because I do have my cheat days, I'm probably going to have seafood today. Um, I love to eat my seafood with cucumbers. Also, this is a great snack with like apples, cucumbers, um, cream cheese, and everything bagel seasoning. If you watch my What I Eat in a Day video, then you know how good that combination is. And then I don't drink regular milk because if you watch What the Health on Netflix, dairy is so freaking bad for you. And I don't know about you ladies, but if you have a bloating problem, it's probably because your body just rejects dairy. Like every time I would eat mac and cheese or regular milk, I noticed that my stomach would be enlarged and I would have really, really bad bloating. Ever since I cut dairy out my diet, I'm able to keep my weight off, I feel better. And did you know that dairy causes inflammation and mucus in the body? So it's better that you have soy milk or almond milk. I heard soy milk is, isn't all that either because of the estrogen, like it has too much estrogen. But I'd rather have soy milk because I noticed that I don't get bad bloating from it. And I don't drink a lot at a time. I usually have this with my protein shake or um, with my cereal. Now, this was on sale for $1.99. Cereal, I heard, is all not that, it's not that good for you, all that good for you. But I like this because it has a lot of fiber and granola, and it just keeps me energized. Also, when I don't feel like cooking and I still want to eat something somewhat healthy, I get me, you know, um, a cup of cereal because we are in a calorie deficit, a cup of cereal and a half a cup of soy milk. I eat that for morning. If I in the morning, if I don't want to have something heavy or a protein shake. And um, also, I noticed that every time I get avocados, they will spoil quickly. So I... I've recently been eating this um, smashed avocado. It's nothing added, okay? This is non-GMO, it's nothing added. And it's just so convenient. I, I, I take the whole cup and I um, put it in my salad or like, for, like I said, for my um, bell pepper recipe with the avocado egg, I use this and I eat it with the bell peppers. Um, and sometimes I eat avocado by itself. It has a lot of proteins. It's so good with salt and pepper by itself, honey. And last but not least, don't mind my wig, I just did it. Doesn't it look so good? Sorry about that, I had a call. Last but not least, every time I go to the grocery store, I make sure that I get like plenty of water because as you guys know, I only drink water. I drink my Ayaso tea um, and my water to keep me snatched, okay? I'm gonna do a separate video on how I was able to shrink my waist literally five inches just from the Ayaso tea and I drink a lot of water a day, okay? I drink, I try to drink a gallon of water a day. If not, I drink up to here, but you need, your body needs to be hydrated, especially when you're working out, you can easily become dehydrated. And when you drink a lot of water, I notice that my skin is clear and glowing. I get distilled water. Um, I heard that distilled water and spring water is the best type of water to get. I get the market brand because I don't, I just don't F with Poland Springs. All those other high end, I guess, or popular water, um, it's, I heard it's really not that good for you. Um, some girl did a pH test on the water and found that Poland Springs and Essentia, all those waters that they, they push on people is not even good for you. But distilled water, mm, still water is really good for you. So I got me one, two, three, four, five waters and that's pretty much it okay this is what i'm gonna have you know um for the next few days and i always switch up my grocery haul so if you guys want to know um you know what i get in a week you know you if you want a weekly grocery haul let me know because i do change it up um because if you want to lose weight and, and stay stick to your weight loss you know you have to switch it up because the minute you get tired of eating your foods you know you start you know wanting to eat um the foods that's not good for you and it's pretty simple if you guys want me to do recipes out of this comment below i can do another what i eat in a day video um also in the morning i have two eggs with avocado by itself you know, or I have the egg and I put the egg in my salad. I cut up the cucumbers. I, I make a salad. I know this seems like it's not that much, but 
oh my god this is like i can make four or five meals out of this alone white rice with the tuna fish i can have avocado egg with the green pepper um protein shake smoothie or protein smooth smoothie bowl that's another uh, a meal by itself i can make salad with cucumbers lemon avocado my romaine lettuce Oh my God, it's just so much I can make, you know what I'm saying? So I hope this video helped you. And yeah, until next time, Bella Gang or No Gang.